Hello and welcome. My name is Adam Snoza of Aim High Test Prep. And today I'm gonna to walk you through how to update your TI-84 family of calculators in just a few easy steps. So let's just jump right into the first way to update your TI-84 calculator. And that is to use your calculator connector cable. So this allows two calculators to link together and then send information to one another. Now, if you don't happen to have your mini USB five pin cable that came with the calculator, you can purchase a new one using the links down below, which will take you to this Amazon page. Once you then have a calculator that is more updated, whether it's a friend's or a teacher's, and you have the connector cable, you also need to be aware that the calculator you're connecting to must match. So what that means is that a TI-84 Plus or Plus Silver can only talk to each other. That's it. A TI-84 Plus C, that's the backlit calculator that is a little thicker, uh, that can only talk to another TI-84 Plus C. And the thin calculator, uh, the TI-84 Plus CE, can only talk to another TI-84 Plus CE. I am not able to send data from a CE to a TI-84 Plus or Plus Silver. They just won't talk to each other. So once I have two calculators of a similar model and my connector cable, I simply connect them together. Once you have them connected together, you want to make sure that you put the receiving calculators. That's the older one that needs an update. You're going to put that one in receive mode, and you're going to do that by clicking second link. Now that's using the XT theta N button. Once you click that, you'll get a screen that looks like this. Then you're going to click over to receive and then hit enter. So once that is in waiting mode, I'm going to take the new calculator and I'm also going to hit second link. Now, once that is in link mode, what I can do is select what do I want it to send? Now, a typical thing might be updating the operating system. As soon as I uh, want to select the operating system, I'm just going to go down to the bottom of the page and select update the operating system and then have it sent over. Now, be careful. When you send over an operating system, the receiving calculator will have all of the data that's in it wiped away. Now, don't be too worried about that. By data, I mean old math entries. If you have lists in your stats, the, that kind of data is going to go away. Okay, it's not going to eliminate programs or apps. It's just going to be the math data. Depending on which calculator, it might take anywhere from two to 10 minutes. Uh, if you want to send over a new app, let's say Conix or Ply Smolt, and you want to send those over, you can just repeat the process. I'm going to put the other calculator in receive mode, and then I'll put the newer calculator and I'll send over apps or programs. Now here I'll have to cycle through and select which apps and programs I want and then send over. And that's about all you need to do a calculator to calculator update. But what if you don't have a friend or a teacher that has the newest update or a program or an app that you desire? Well, you're gonna have to do it on your own. And to do that, you'll need your mini USB to USB connector cable that you had with the calculator at purchase. Now, if you didn't, keep track of that, you can purchase a replacement in the links down below. It will take you to this page here where you can get a brand new cable. And that way you can have your computer send the information to your calculator. Once you do have uh, the cable here and your calculator and computer, you're ready to go. I'm going to go to ti.com. I'm going to go over here to products. Once I go over to products, I'm going to go to calculators and education technology. So this takes me to all of their calculator things that they have. Uh, I'm just going to grab a program that allows my computer to talk to my calculator. That's the first thing I need. And that's called TI Connect. So I'm going to go over here to downloads and unless they change it. This video is of 2021. So if they change the website, I apologize. Just going to go to all software. 
this is an easy way to find that TI Connect because that TI Connect is right over here. Now it does say TI Connect CE. However, the TI Connect CE does allow for connections with the TI CE and the C and the TI 84 and plus and plus silver. So all of those versions uh, can use this CE software. So I'm just going to click. You're going to select whether you're going to use your Apple uh, software or Windows. I'm currently on Windows. So I'm going to use the Windows and just use the executable file. No problem there. It is downloading the bottom corner, as you can see. So once it's downloaded, I'll go ahead and execute the file here. All right, now it's wanting me to run through the setup. I'll just go ahead and click Next. Well, I have a previous version. Of course I do, because I've already had it on my computer. But I'll go ahead and click OK. And just like that, click the Finish button and As you can see, I have the TI Connect right up here in the top corner of my screen. So I'm going to open it up. And it gives me this window. Let me go ahead and full screen that for you. So once I have this screen, this is a good part. Um, if you connect any of your calculators together, so I'll go ahead, use my connector cable, and I'll uh, connect together my CE. You'll see that it automatically starts recognizing that it's an 84 plus CE. If I plug in my T84 plus silver edition, plug it in up top here, it automatically recognizes it. It tells me the operating system and everything. And then my T84 plus C as well. There we go. And it recognizes it. Now, now that I have this, uh, what I need to do is go back to the Texas Instrument website. And once I'm back here, let's just uh, go back into the all software. This allows me to talk about all the different calculators all together. So if I'm going to work with the CE, okay, let's start with that one. So I'm going to go over here to the technology and select the T84 plus CE and hit find. Now, what I actually do recommend for the CE is to just click into this plus CE apps bundle uh, because that will download the operating system, the newest one, 5.6.1, and it will give you the apps, many of which are commonly used for either classes or standardized tests. So when you click into this and then have it download. You'll want to remember where that is. <laughs> and if you don't remember where that is, you can certainly uh, click that arrow and then uh, show in folder. Uh, you know, one thing that I might recommend for, uh, for you to do is when you have it show in folder, you can just drag and drop it right onto your desktop. Uh, so the, wherever that is, just drag that over so you know where it is and you can find it really easily. So then that's my TI-84CE. Let me go ahead and plug that in, show you how fast this is. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Actions. Send OS, that's Operating System Bundle to Calculator. Well, that's on my desktop, and it's right there. It'll start processing, ask me if it wants to do all calculators, which is fine. Yes, go ahead and send. And on my calculator, don't know if you could see that, but it's just 
processing and uploading all of that data for me. And after it downloaded, you can see that the operating system has updated to 5.6.1, but I can also check to see if all of the apps downloaded. Uh, if I go to the edge, it will show me all of the programs uh, that are on the calculator itself. And I can certainly see that the ones that I desire most in test prep, uh, I see Plysmolt 2 is there, and I do see Conix. Uh, all of the others that came with the pack, the new one that came with 5.1.6 is uh, this Hello Python, uh, which I will be investigating further. Uh, but all of those downloaded in the uh, expansion pack that had the operating system as well as all the apps. So all of this is done in one, and I don't need to piecemeal uh, each app onto it, which can't be said for the TI-84 Plus, Plus Silver, or C. Each one of those, I'll have to download those apps one by one. Because unlike the CE that had kind of a package deal with a bunch of different apps, uh, for the 84 uh, Plus and Plus Silver, I'm going to have to pick and choose which ones I want. Uh, so let's say one of the most common ones that I teach in my test prep classes um, is going to use the Polynomial Root Finder and Simultaneous Equation Solver, also known as PlySmolt2. So once I have access to it. I'm just simply going to click and download it, as you can see right down here. Now that it's downloaded, um, I can easily send that over. Okay, let me, again, know where you're downloading it, but just for the sake of ease, I'll go ahead and put it on my, my home screen here. So now that I know right where it is, I'll go back into the TI Connect. I'll connect together my calculator. You have to make sure it's turned on for the program to recognize it. And instead of going over to actions and sending OS, because I'm not sending the OS, I'm going to add file from the computer. So if I add a file from the computer here, uh, I'm going to search for that PlySmolt2 right there. And this might take a little bit because I already have it on my calculator. So I'm going to say like replace the existing content, uh, which is no big deal here. But it's just telling me what it's going to be called. Yeah, that's what it's going to be called uh, on this calculator. Send. And you'll see that it is sending. And on this calculator, if you look, it'll be harder here. It says garbage collection. So that basically means it's uh, taking out old data that's in there and replacing it with the new one. And here it's saying, oh, it's receiving the file now and done. Just like that, my calculator now has PlySmolt2 and I could do simultaneous equations and I could find the roots of a polynomial in no time at all. Whether going calculator to calculator or computer to calculator, you now know how to update your TI-84. Feel free to click the links down below to purchase any of the missing cables that you may have misplaced. Also down below, I linked to a video that I made on the TI-36X Pro calculator. For the teachers out there watching this video, this is a great calculator to purchase for classrooms that is far superior to the TI-30s, 30Xs, or 30X2s, because it has a lot of the graphing calculator features like polynomial root finder, matrices, and systems of equations. Also, it's a great alternative for students looking to not spend $120, $130 on a graphing calculator, as this will only cost you about $25. So feel free to watch that video down below. So if you find that video or you found this one helpful, I thank you very much for watching, and I wish you good luck in your next test.